بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الاخوه والاخوات الطلاب ارحب بكم في منهج ميجا جول 2 وتحديدا الوحده الخامسه درس لسن اند ديسكاس في صفحه 67 و68 in this lesson ان شاء الله we are going to cover the uh, lesson and discuss on part 1 and then ان شاء الله we'll go over other parts in this page Let's now uh, start by listening and discussing some of the, of the, of the information. Okay, as you see, listen and discuss. Look at the pictures and write as many words as you can think for each, read each paragraph and underline the words that name something in the picture. As you see, guys, we have many pictures here. We have this picture. This picture is for someone, uh, as you see, I think he is a scientist. The scientist is the one who is searching and writing and experimenting things in a laboratory or in a university or in a hospital or in research centers to, for example, come out with something very important and beneficial for humanity. As I said, this is a picture of a scientist of course, here we have the wheel. The wheel is the, 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 the machine or something or the tool that uh, used by those who are disabled, those who couldn't uh, work, as you see. Actually, this is the, the, the primary uh, form of it. We have also this one, oil. Actually, this is a refinery. This is the uh, primary or the basic form of a refinery where oil or petrol come from. Electricity. Electricity is the, uh, the power or the energy that actually feed our homes, our mobiles, our cars by electricity. Penicillin. Penicillin is one of the uh, medications that used to uh, to, um, to, for example, make something in our bodies. Actually, this can be done by doctors and scientists. L let's read a little bit, or let's listen to the uh, audio. Looking back, inventions and discoveries that changed history. We often wonder if things might or could have been different. Would the world be a better place? What are the advantages or disadvantages of different inventions? So, what are the advantages or disadvantages of inventions? Inven inventions means something that invented by someone to help people and to help patients and to help uh, others to, to, to make their life and their uh, health more uh, beneficial and easier. Let's keep the wheel. If the Sumerians hadn't invented the wheel in 5000 BCE, they couldn't have moved heavy loads. 6,000 years later, the Mayans and Incans in the Americas used the round shape in their architecture, but they had no wheels. We can add something about wheels. As I said, wheels used for those who are disabled, those who couldn't uh, walk, and of course used to carry uh, things and to carry goods. So it's, it's uh, primarily or basically invented in the U.S. Airplanes. If the Wright brothers hadn't invented the first successful airplane, people might still be traveling long distances on ships, and there wouldn't be as much contact among people on different continents. The Wright brothers first flew in an engine-propelled plane in 1903. So the airplanes, all of you know airplanes because it's, it's the, the most um, quick and speed wheel or, or um, uh, way of uh, transportation nowadays that are used by all countries. If the Wright brothers, Wright brothers are those who who invented the airplane uh, for the first time 
So if the Wright brothers hadn't invented the first successful airplane, people might still be traveling long distances on ships and there wouldn't be as much and so on. Oil. If people hadn't discovered a lot of sources of oil, cars that run on gasoline wouldn't have become so common. The first commercial oil well drilled in North America was in Oil Springs, Ontario, Canada. So oil as the petrol is the most important things in our life. Uh, without oil, we, we cannot we we cannot move our cars. We we we, we will not have the, the the ability to to use the smartphones. We uh, of course it's 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 a uh, variable in different parts of our life. In 1858, computers. If we didn't have computers, a lot of work would still be done with paper and pencil and people in their homes wouldn't be able to be in contact with the entire world. The first PC was introduced by IBM in 1981. So computers are very important. Without computers, we couldn't work. As, as I'm doing now, if, if we didn't have a computer, I couldn't do this. I couldn't talk to you through a, a satellite or such a thing. So computers are very important for you as a student and for uh, hospitals, governments, and so on. The first uh, computer, which is the PC, was introduced to the, the, the world by IPM. IPM actually is a company, is an American company, in 1981. Electricity. If electricity hadn't been discovered, people would probably still be using candles or gas lights. Thomas Edison developed the first incandescent electric light bulb in 1879. So penicillin, if doc So again, again, electricity is something very important. With, without electricity, we can't, we can't um, uh, go and we can't, for example, uh, have machines and we can't operate our um, cars, we can't operate our hospitals, we can't, oper we can't operate our schools and so on. So the first one who invented this was Thomas Edison, developed the first incandescent electric light bulb in 1879. Dr. Alexander Fleming hadn't discovered penicillin in 1928, millions of people would have died from infections. However, the widespread use of penicillin as an antibiotic did not begin until the 1940s during World War II. So the penicillin uh, invented by Dr. Alexander Fleming in 1928, millions of people would have died from infections. So. Penicillin is anti-infection, is anti-infection. However, the widespread use of penicillin as an antipatic did not begin until the 1940s during World War. After the World War, they started to use the penicillin as an antipatic, as an antipatic. One, if I'd studied harder, I would have passed that test. Two, I should have said what I thought about her hairstyle, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Three, I should have bought that thing last year. Now prices have gone up. Four, if I had been more careful, I would have avoided the accident. Five. I should have told the security guard that I saw someone breaking the lock. Six, if I'd known the trip was going to take so long, I would have taken another route. Seven, other afterthoughts? As you see, we listen to these sentences and I will... If I'd studied harder, I would have passed that test.
I should have said what I thought about her hairstyle, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. I should have bought that thing last year. Now prices have gone up. If I had been more careful, I would have avoided the accident. I should have told the security guard that I saw someone breaking the lock. If I'd known the trip was going to take so long, I would have taken another route. Other afterthoughts? Let's move now to other parts of the lesson. Actually, this is uh, also a quick check for listen and discuss vocabulary that actually uh, exposed to us by the uh, audio vocabulary matched to form new words and expressions. Oil, what do you think? Oil, is it guard, style, load, bulb, wool? Okay, heavy, heavy, load, okay, hair, style, electric, bulb, and security guard. Again, quick check for the comprehension. The, sum the Sumerians couldn't have carried heavy loads without the wheel. Is it true or false? So it's true. If it, we, if it weren't for Fleming, many people could have died from infections. If it hadn't been for candles, there wouldn't be any electricity. People would still be traveling on ships if it weren't for airplanes. The man who is unloading the truck should have studied harder. What is your biggest regret? I should have been a more serious student. What would have happened if the Sumerians hadn't invented the wheel? They wouldn't have been able to move heavy loads. What would you have done if you'd seen the thief? I would have called the police immediately. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thank you very much.